Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video here on Crypto Loop. Today, we're going to be talking about the very first live interview that Sam Bankman freed after the FTX collapse, where he says that he screwed up, however, takes none of the responsibility, puts all the blame on him just being dumb and not realizing how over leveraged he was, um, and basically deflecting from the fact that he actively defrauded investors. He used hundreds of millions of dollars of investor money to buy mansions, fly with private jets donate to the Democrats um, and much, much more. So we're just going to take a look at all of this information right here and some reactions on Twitter as well. So um, he basically said, I, I've had a bad month, which I think we can all agree with. He, he definitely had a bad month. Um, he defended the FTX collapse, uh, deflected blame in this interview um, where he says he went against uh, the advice of his lawyers to even uh, take part in the interview. So the interview is 90 minutes long. If you guys just go onto YouTube, you can watch the whole thing. Um, and he says he didn't try to commit fraud as his crypto empire collapsed in a matter of days earlier this month. Um, I did not knowingly commingle funds between FTX and the trading firm Alameda Research. Um, that's basically what he said. He's basically saying he never tried to commit fraud on anyone. Um, and basically, I mean, I personally, I think it's bullshit. We're going to take a look at some people who actually fell for his uh, reply right here. Um, basically, the combined valuation of um, Alameda and FTX and, and so forth, $40 billion. Um, he is now apparently has a net worth of about uh, $100,000 um, in his bank account, which uh, w when he last checked, they have uh, massive creditors, obviously. Um and basically, he says um, that in he basically the point of the interview is he says they didn't know that they were uh, allocating funds to Alameda. Um, they didn't properly as, uh, label accounts. So what he's saying is that when people deposited money, um, instead of Alameda giving that money to FTX on behalf of the customers, they just mislabeled that account um, and. <laughs> And basically you just, yeah, it was just a giant big mistake. They mislabeled the account and that's why the money is gone. He also says some bizarre things like, I hadn't been running Alameda or thinking about its finances or making those decisions. He also says, I think Alameda made trading profits, but FTX made profits as well. FTX has had been, had been growing profitable business. I think, you know, like, how can you not know if you're if you are making profit? I just think that's a, he's just playing dumb at this point to avoid going to jail. Um, yeah, he said uh, by late November 6th, he was very nervous. So he was kind of, yeah, after tweeting that everything was okay, he was starting to get nervous. Um, he said FTX has enough to cover all client holdings, um, which is just completely bizarre. That's what he said on November 7th, and he got nervous on November 6th. So how exactly do those two things add up? I don't know. Um, he doesn't know what his far future is. And basically the entire interview is just a whole big shitstorm of Sam defending uh, this whole thing as just being, you know, we were just dumb young kids who did, who just, we just made a mistake, you know, we mislabeled the account. We didn't know what we were doing. Like this wasn't a fraud, but as we all know, I mean, spending hundreds of millions of dollars of investor money, mislabeling an account worth billions of dollars and just assuming it's your money because you mislabeled customer funds. That's just a, that's just a fucking dumb excuse, to be honest. But some people such as Kevin O'Leary are actually falling for this. Kevin O'Leary tweeted, I lost millions as an investor in FTX and got sandblasted as a paid spokesperson, um, which, you know, well-deserved, uh, for the firm, but after listening to that interview, I'm in the Bill Ackman camp about the kid. And Bill Ackman said, call me crazy, but I think SBF is telling the truth. So people actually believe that he just mislabeled funds. He didn't know how overleveraged he was. And all of that BS, which is just, I don't know, it's ludicrous to me. Obviously, Kevin, I think he's just trying to save his ass because he was heavy in promoting, um, in promoting um, FTX. <laughs> this comment is actually pretty funny. I wanted to share that with you guys as well. <laughs> he tweets out, um, Kevin, I am starting a crypto exchange called Trust Me Bro. Can you invest $5 million for 20%? I might accidentally lose the money buying a mansion or something, but otherwise it's totally safe. <laughs> and then you put, <laughs> Trust Me Bro, Web3, sorry, I guess, LOL. 
and that basically it, it just summarizes it and a lot of you know a lot of people are basically yeah i mean no nobody really um believes this bullshit except for the people who are trying to save their own ass <laughs> this guy actually also tweeted you were at the ftx sex party and they have photographs don't they <laughs> basically saying that kevin they are they're blackmailing kevin to say this because i mean who, who could be stupid enough to believe the bullshit that sam spouted out in this interview nobody is dumb enough to misallocate billions and just spend hundreds of millions and think everything is going to be fine oh no i didn't know that it was investor money i thought the money just appeared from thin air so that's just a dumb excuse let me know what you guys think in the comments down below go and ch watch the whole interview if you haven't done so yet um and yeah please subscribe to the channel um leave a like on this video and i'll keep you guys up to date on future developments have a good one guys and i wish you a great day Bye bye